bargain with my friends. It's hard. But for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. And the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, the loss became a threshold. Between the Order and my own life. Between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And, like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt that the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind were just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. A lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. <laughs> Yet, every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. One step at a time, slowly but steadily, no matter the obstacles on the way. Sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. One day, but not here, not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. Saying my goodbyes to Dad before going to Russia, I promised him this was going to be my last tour of duty. Besides, I, I wasn't going to war. I expected a cushy job guarding the embassy. How could I know that instead of a cushy job, waiting for me were mushroom clouds, desperate struggle, salvation, and a tour of duty that would last 20 years? But as soon as Artyom's dogged determination to break out of the tunnels paid off the way it did... I hope to see my father again took root. As we were going east, that hope grew. By the time we reached Novosibirsk, going home was the only thing I could think about. Only duty before my commander and my friends kept me from leaving immediately. But my service with the Order came to an end on the shores of Lake Baikal. There, on that hill, through the terrible pain of loss... I could feel that my friends had also found closure. Their journey was over. Not mine, though. The hope that's been nagging on me for so long now turned into an obsession. The purpose of my life. I had to go. And my friends, who had long since become my family, only well, understood. As I'm entering the outskirts of Vladivostok, I know I was immensely lucky to have gotten even this far. But since fate chose to take me here, to the Pacific, I must do everything I can to find a way home. And see my old man again. Привет, Владивосток.
Get lost, you idiots! Watch out, boys! Don't get hit! Don't fucking kill him! Shoot his legs if you must! I'm warning you! Next time I'll shoot to kill! What else would you have me do? I guess that's all! I'm not greedy! Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, we ain't gonna kill you! The Kingpin wants you alive! And how do you know what he wants? I have my sources! As for you, stop wasting my time and come out! Show yourself, so I know where to go! Fucking year! Much obliged! You motherfucker! You got our boss! Shoot the fucker, boys! <laughs> You're welcome to try it! I have enough ammo for all of you! <laughs> I think we got all of them! Thanks for your help! Come up here and let's talk! All right! You fucker! What the hell? You bastard! Take a time! Hey! Put your gun down! Hey, take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now! Alright. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Careful over here. It's a long fall. You don't want to join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Seriously, talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu! Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The Batwing! Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me.
hands in the air! <clears throat> Come and take it, you bastards! Come and take it! You're coming with us! Take him alive! Take this! Fuck off! Go to hell! Coming here, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. But I hoped that if push came to shove, I could always pay for my passage to the States working as a crewman on a boat. The fact is that there are no boats here. Just a huge sub that a man calling himself Captain pointed me to. I don't think I can just buy a ticket and board this monster that could have launched missiles at my home years back. Our meeting was cut short. But I still think that not antagonizing the man was a good call. Now he'll probably be inclined to hear what I have to say if we meet again. Did you hear him swear when we got him? Fuck you all! Bastards! I kill ya! That's American for sure. How do you know it's American when you're not that good at Russian? Well, I did hear American in the movies, before the war. He could have seen some, too. By the way, he's up. Hey, where are you from, pal? From Moscow. Look, aren't you an American, pal? <laughs> no, I'm a Buryat. <sighs> All right, you got me. I am an American. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. No shit. <laughs> no wonder you gave us so much trouble before we nabbed you. It's just not my day. Huh? <laughs> Looks like it. Well, you might still change your opinion. Hey, guys! Turns out we caught an American! We'd better call Cap now and report! Wow! Go ahead, Mace, deliver here. Patch me through to Cat. I got news for you. He's not on the bridge. Stand by. All right, standing by. Kill the engine, guys! We're to stand by! Speaking of this not being your day, see what's over I there? I do. It's clouds. <laughs> clouds? This is a storm, pal. Yep, a storm. And storms here are not your regular storms. They can ruin your day like nowhere else. You're lucky we took you in when we did. Back on the bridge, switching over. Got it. Rev up and head to the sub! So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? Nah, he got spooked by some small fries. We know the guy was with him, though. It turns out the guy's an American. Uh, aren't you fucking with me? <laughs> Please, boss. He swore like you on a bad day. Oh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, will you? Okay, I feel stupid for even considering this shit, but just in case, who are you? Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> wow, just... wow. 
Yeah, I have trouble believing it myself. Here! Change of plan. He is my guest. Do you get that? Uh, bring him over, quick. Yes, boss. Well, didn't we make a splash? Now tell me, who of us knew he was an American all along, huh? Haha! <laughs> Impressive, huh? It's all ours. Impressive. Look, it's the boss. Is that him? Yeah, it's me! Well, hello there! Why are you still tied up? Huh? I love it! Please, come aboard! Take the guest to the gangway! Yes, boss. Shit, we pissed the cat off. <sighs> we should have taken the rope off. Then we'd get chewed up for acting on our own. Yeah, there's just no making the cat happy. <sighs> it's not our day. Come aboard. You too, Tom. Is the ship yours? Can I book a ticket? Book a ticket? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, follow me. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> oh, truly. A heaven on earth. Uh, save for the traffic in LA, of course. That was hell. Mm, look, man. Uh, d remind me. What was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right! Oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Mariners, if you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. By the way, Sam, this is Clem, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the Applied Force Department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Ochen priyatno, Clem. Clem's boys couldn't invite you here at a better time. The dock deflects the wind somewhat, but still... Just look at that. Yeah. Had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though, wait. Uh, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. But a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? 
Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent, we had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. So you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than can't, Tom. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I am in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? I'll drink my own. They don't really get that fancy stuff, Tom. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. To our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Good show. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? I'd been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. Clem handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, our enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Clem's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> Then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, he did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. That's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Klim found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational all along, and the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How was he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman, just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force, a new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything. And accept our power. Mm. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah. A lot of things starting to make sense now. Great. Then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. 
Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Deal? Deal. Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. Oh, that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part. The map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Spasibo, Klim. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll of keep course. in touch. Just leave Just leave Bye. Tell me, Tom, why? Why what? Why did you not let me send my boys with him? They could catch the old goat cleanly and quietly. Oh, enough. I know you're cleanly and quietly. Your boys fucked up for good when they let him get away. The captain himself, I could forgive. We're keeping tabs on him. But where's the XO? The others? We're looking. Looking? You've been looking for almost a year now. And now the captain is our only chance. Don't you see? I just can't trust your boys with it. Well, but you can trust this passerby. He's an American. So what? I don't know him. You don't know him either. But I do. He survived in Moscow. He survived there, and then he came here. Well, if you say so. I certainly do. And enough of this. Uh. Do you have anyone watching the passage to the Upper Marsh? Observation post, two guys. Good. Tell them to be on the lookout for our guest. Provide him support if need be, and tell that to everyone else. Got it. Let's think of where he could even find the guy. Where was the captain seen? Everywhere. Pick a point. How about here? Right under our noses. The pool? <laughs> Lobsters. He stopped using the place long ago. I see. Here? Nah, too many foglies. He won't go there. I oh, think he wouldn't? Hmm. How about here? That new gang I told you about. Fogly catchers. <laughs> yes. Uh, how about the car dump? Uh, there's a bat wing there now. Yeah, even the captain wouldn't take it on. The fire depot? Nah, uh, occupied too. More fogly hunters. Hmm. What about this place? <laughs> Howdy, Uncle Sam. You're expected at the shooting range. Boss's orders. It's that way. Cross the bridge.
Hi, American. Okay, I think I got this. Time to check ignition. This is ground control to Major Tom. Nah, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Damn it. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's see if it works now. Engines on! <laughs> you really made the grade. No. <laughs> oh, come on. It's closed. Ugh, but why? It's just closed. This, why is it closed, man? Closed for special service. What the hell? I only need to zero my gun in. Won't take long. Well, it will just have to wait. <laughs> Ugh, look, I won't take long. If I could, I'd let you in, but I have orders. Ugh, all right. Aha! Here's our guest. Come on in. Spasibo. Hey! How come you let him through? Wait. Didn't you hear the announcement? This guy just came from America to see the boss. <coughs> no shit! How did he get here? He was parrot dropped from the orbit. All his stuff burned up on re-entry. So the boss wants him to have our best gear to prove his hospitality. Ooh, damn! That's so awesome! Sup there, Tom. So, you're the American. <laughs> We're checking our stocks here, you see? And you're expected at the range, over there. I've been expecting you. My name's Daniela. I'm Tom's gunsmith. The boss wants you geared up ASAP, Sam, so I'll cut straight to the chase. First, your universal detector. There are mines all over the ruins, so never leave home without it. It can also detect spare parts, weapons, lots of things, actually. Nice. Indeed. Now, your new rifle. This looks familiar, but different. It's a local make, optimized for our home brand of incendiary ammo. It accepts regular ball, all right, just not the standard mags. Don't want our idiots ruining their old rifles with the hot stuff. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Ah, glad to hear that. I guess you're all set now. You can test it here. My assistant has a couple of mags ready. This one should not just feel familiar, it's the real McCoy. A 45 automatic, straight from Tom's premium stock. We have sold quite a few of its siblings here, but this one's been fine-tuned to the max and hasn't seen a day of use past its shakedown. So it won't fail no matter what. Here's your ammo. Good luck. Don't mind if I do. Try to hit all the targets. Oh, I always wanted to see a real marine in person. <laughs> nice! Not bad. Amazing. Great shot. That's what I call real shooting. Simplify. Look, I can appreciate art of shooting like nobody else here. Thanks for the show. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, that was truly amazing. Here's your prize. All in a day's work. Well, I won't be holding you any longer. Good luck, Sam. Thanks, Daniela. See you around. Sure.
so. Did you get geared up? Weapons zeroed in and all that stuff? <laughs> yep, everything's fine. Great. Good luck to you then. Come on, you've been here a hundred times already. All right, you can move on. Finally. Didn't they have a coup or something recently? They did. But the guy in charge now is okay in my book. I doubt that. He screws one man, he screws everyone else. Compare it to the second best offer. The bandits outside take it all and kill you. If they feel generous, you get to die quick. The cat, though. Once he takes his cut, we'll see the deal to the end. And make sure the final buyer treats us fairly. So, what do we do now? Now we just wait for the cat's man to come check our cargo. Good. I can do that. Why is just one fishing boat coming in? Where are the shipments? The traders will be here in a few days. What the hell are they all thinking? Huh? Oh, you're that American we've been told about. Did the boss say anything about the shipments? They're late. Sorry, no idea. <laughs> well, I guess he doesn't trust you that much. Or maybe even he doesn't know. Is that American? There. What are you talking about? They're looking right at us. Are you sure? It looks like a regular schmo to me. I'm telling you, it's the American! <laughs> Someone! We already got one! <coughs> well, yeah, but. Ah, get off his case already. Who cares? Instead of wasting your energy being excited, save it for fishing. We have a long day ahead. All right. Hey, uh, how about more of that soup? <laughs> Help yourself. There's some left in the pot. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Any more of the same left? Uh, yeah, should be. Uh, check the counter. There's a bug in my hash! <laughs> Damn right there is! <coughs> what did you expect, foie gras? What the hell? Didn't it say meat hash in the menu? It still does, but bugs count as meat. The last time I checked, they weren't listed as vegetarian. <coughs> what kind of logic is that? If you ain't gonna finish it, I'm putting it back in the pot. You know what? Fuck this joint! I'm never coming back! <coughs> Good riddance! You never tip anyways! What a selfish dick! I say it's time we... take a break! No! I want another... <coughs> drink! You had enough! By the Lord, I have not! <coughs> it's you who... had enough! <laughs> Yes, I had. Come on! Stand straight, huh? Ah, uh, I'll lie down. <coughs> and then we'll have another drink, huh? <laughs> this is good stuff. Want a sip? No, thanks. I don't want to spoil the taste of my smoke. <coughs> spoil? <laughs> it's seaweed, anyway. Yes, but it's good seaweed. While your drink is half piss and half toxic waste. <laughs> At least it has a kick! <laughs> sure, <laughs> I can feel the stink from here. <laughs> your smoke don't smell like ozone, either. Tastes good, though. <laughs> bah! Tastes schmaced! Smoke! 
So, he did let you pass off the roll? Not before wearing my patience thin like his black soul. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, still, your fear's a bird now. Free. I feel like aged ten years. Well, you certainly look the part. <laughs> Fuck you too. Ha 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 Ah, Uncle Sam. Howdy! Fine. You want to look at a port? You've come at the best moment. We haven't been this busy in ages. <laughs> Makes you wonder, though, why all these boats decided to arrive at once. There's a queue, for Christ's sakes. Well, you're welcome to look around all you like. Eh? See ya. Thanks. Hello there, our American guest. How do you do? I heard you saw the captain. How is he? Don't answer. I know it's tough for him. If you see him again, tell him. Tell him we haven't forgotten a thing he's done for us. And we're ready to follow him anywhere. Uh, we're still here. checking. But yes, there's definitely some missing. Any suspects? Uh, yes, duh. Yeah, there's this clown, Babyface. He took off as soon as we came to check on him and locked himself up in his cabin. Uh, good. The no. guys are trying to get him out. Uh, I know him. I always thought he was suspicious. I'll go check up on them. All right, we'll carry on here. Move again. Hold it. So. You don't like Tom's new direction? Look, I know you're trying to provoke me, but I'm past caring now, so I'll just tell you straight. I don't like Tom and his business shtick, but that's not what's killing me. It's the way he took over. It's the way he got rid of the captain and all the officers. And it's Klim and his goons that I hate. I also think Captain was right. Nukes mustn't be used no matter what, and it's good that the sub's out of fuel. Ready. <laughs> you can run to Klim now, and have his flunkies drag me away to his torture chamber. There, I said it! Now piss off! You don't have to shout like that. I'm not going to report you or anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to the others they already took away. <laughs> Fucking creep. Love it. <sighs> Damn. I still can't believe we got one more American here. Uh, sorry, none of us really expected to see any American save for Tom. So, how's it going? Any progress? No dice. The fucker's got a good lock on this door. No matter. We'll get him soon enough. Uh, well, but I didn't steal anything! Yeah, right! I like your tale! Let's hear some more! <laughs> I guess I'll stay and watch then. Get some popcorn. It's gonna get really exciting when we open this fucking lock. Stop there, Tom. Hello again, American. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Great. The boss told us to find you a nice boat, and here she is. Looks nice enough. She handles well, too. Just take the wheel and use the remote box, like the stick on a car, and you'll be fine. We even installed a compass. Yeah, don't leave it unattended, though. It's got pure spirit inside. <coughs> Also, mind the inertia. At full speed, it takes some time to stop, even if you switch to reverse. And please, bring her back in one piece. Yeah, she has a lot of sentimental value for him. 
<laughs> Indeed, she does. Well, she's all yours. Good luck and calm seas to you. <coughs> Goodbye. <coughs> das Vidania. What do you know? It really was as easy as booking a ticket after all. Well, almost. I only need to get some fuel rods to revive the submarine's reactors. How hard can it be? Don't the Russians have this stuff just sitting all over the place? In this case, though, there's only one man who actually knows where to look for it. But through sheer luck, I had already met him. Now, I just need to find the captain again. That should be about as easy as finding a needle in a haystack. Luckily, along with new weapons, Tom has provided me with a map detailing some of the captain's hideouts. Of course, there's no guarantee I'll meet the old man in any of them. But they are at least a place to start. and the scanner shows you the direction towards it. And that's it. As long as you know where they are, mines can't hurt you. You could even disarm them for some resources if you feel lucky. <laughs> Thanks for the explanation. You're welcome. Stay safe. Clear, Tom. Good. I forgot to tell you. All my people know you're a guest now. There's lots of random characters roaming the area, though. So, if anyone is hostile toward you, you're free to shoot the bastard dead. Thanks, Tom. I'll keep it in mind. You're welcome. Good luck, Sam. Tom out.
I could use this. Nie doma. Could be of use. This I could definitely use. I could use that. Пригодится.
היא פלוחה. Отличная находка. Хорошо. Окей, это я могу действительно использовать.
this stuff is mine now. Seraph? Shh! Don't spoil the surprise! or some shit inside. Gotta watch out just in case. Shh. Talk about mining for resources. Ha <laughs> 
Is that tape?
This looks interesting. Let's put something educational on for a change. The twin cities of Vladivostok and San Diego share strong bonds of friendship and cooperation, as these cities are not only I'll be damned. important San Diego. Of their respective countries, but also major scientific, cultural, and political centers that have played major historical roles in the development of their regions. Both cities are of great economic importance, not only for their countries, but also for the Pacific region as a whole. In our turbulent times, when the hydra of reactionary forces is once again raising its multiple heads, we must make every effort to further strengthen the cordial friendship between Vladivostok and San Diego. We believe that friendly support and mutual understanding will undoubtedly replace hostility and distrust in international relations. And the cooperation of our twin cities is a shining example of such understanding and an important milestone on the way to this goal. Dad, I'll be home soon. Just wait a little longer. This is bullshit! You won't make a noise. <laughs> Thank you. 
Вот на трату. Let's see what the fuck is going on there. So far, so good. Yeah. Talk about mining for resources.
Got jammed. You again? <laughs> yes, me. Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. Well, thank you, Uncle Sam. Edward Baranoff, ex captain. Glad to meet you, Ed. How'd you end up in this mess? This is one of my ports. Usually the traps downstairs were enough. The Foglies here know well enough to stay away. Let's go before some more arrive. Stupid. 
stupid beasts. You kill a bunch, but they just keep coming. Help me move this, Sam. You got it? Come on! Oh, we did it! Ugh, I hurt all over. Which is a good sign. Means I'm alive. So, where was I? Ah, yes. Then the bandits from the cinema decided to throw a party for the local gang bosses. And think far enough ahead to chase a pack of fuglies away from the ruins next door for extra security. So the poor mutants arrived here and got sandwiched between the bandits and the other parks in the vicinity. The only way open for them was up. I could beat them, but that gem... You're welcome. I've been looking for you. Did you talk to Tom? Yeah. He suggests a deal. Yes, he's fond of those. I hate being old. We're almost there. my own personal savior let's set sail come aboard we have a long way to go tell me Ed what happened here during the war doesn't look like the city took any direct hits. So why is it in such a state? Yeah, there were no direct hits. The warheads fell into the sea, all in a neat little line. My sub didn't even shoot. All the targets were destroyed without our help. We called the base for orders, but there was no reply. The base was hit naturally, so we sailed here. That's where the HQ was. When we reached the city, we couldn't recognize it. It was even worse back then, of course. Just the smell alone. There were very few survivors, and frankly, we were surprised to find any. We picked them up from the roofs, organized somehow, and ended up settling in the dock. The place ended up pretty cozy. At least we had no problem with electricity, with the reactors running. And by the time they ran out of fuel, we had a floating power station ready. All this luxury ended up generating rumors. So the bandits started coming by to check us out. Finally, one day Tom arrives with an offer of uniting our forces and setting up an effective defense perimeter. Mm, that bastard. Sniper, get down! Damage! <coughs> Did he get you? I'm fine! Keep your head down! Looks like we're safe. Did you see where he's shooting from? I'll handle we the can't sniper. Get him from you the stay water. here. Are you sure? Go get him then.
up.
They're definitely gonna say it's coming from here. Eh, looks like nothing in the end. Hey, did you lock the door? Of course I did! Did you barricade it? No, what the hell? Why? Because we don't want to fucker get in, that's why! Ah, he's not getting in anyway. That lock is really solid. Solid or not, you don't take your ass off it, got it? Yeah, I got it! There's no way in for that hey, fucker. All the doors are locked. Bitch, yeah. You'd have to learn to fly. Easy, easy man, I give up. 
No, I, I see you are serious people going about your business. So I, I won't give you any trouble anymore. Ed, Sam here. Sniper neutralized. Great job, Sam. Get down to the gantry. I'll pick you up from there. This is a real prize. <laughs> Where did you learn those moves? Middle East, Afghanistan? Nope. Action movies. find. guys. Ah, these are the bandits I told you about. They came to make a profit by robbing our settlement at the dock, but it didn't pan out. I must give credit where credit is due. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long since stopped raiding. A few years back they made one last attempt. Klim gave them a lesson. They were so terrified, they didn't even cut down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turned to trapping. They catch mutants in the ruins, those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sail them off to traders. Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> they visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards after all. Oh, and dried fish too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> but why did those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. Ha 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 ha! You got it. All right, we're here, Sam. Let's move this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So, care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, Sam. Don't worry, the lift's fine. 
My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator and a roof. The staircase is just an emergency exit. Too many fog leads in the lower floors. So the lift's no luxury. Just have to keep that generator going. So, the guys didn't get caught back then, after all. Or if they did, they wouldn't talk. What guys? When Tom had shown his true colors, my closest friends and I decided to refuel this soap and take her to sea. The plan was strictly need to know. Only Alex, my XO, and Alex Second, the torpedo officer, and Volodya, the life support guy were in. They left to recon the field and stayed in contact for two weeks. They found the fuel. And we arranged for me to pick them up in the night. But it was Klim's people who met me there. I barely escaped. Do you think they were captured? I don't know. But seeing Klim's people there was hardly a coincidence. Yeah. We're there. Come on in, Sam. Make yourself at home, Sam. Take a rest. There's a storm outside anyway. Tell me, Sam, what's your angle in all this mess? I just want to go home, Ed. Nothing more. And Tom said he'd give me a lift. Before starting the nuclear war all over again. Or after. Sam, the Sob is a terrible weapon. A weapon that was entrusted to me to protect my country. Not to be used in pirate raids, or even something as noble as creating the kingdom of heaven on earth. Can you see that? <laughs> I didn't use it in the last war. So could anybody have any right to use it in any capacity now? When we're barely surviving after that one. Ed, Tom is a reasonable man. I don't think he'd go so far as... Tom is, first and foremost, a businessman. And he will get what he wants, one way or another. Can't you see that his offer to let those who wouldn't follow him go is a threat? What is going to happen to them should I choose not to bring him the fuel? I think you're being too negative here, really. Okay, let's do it this way. I ring him up, you talk to him directly. Fine by me. Tom, Sam here. The captain agrees to talk. Perfect. Edward, I'll be brief. I need those fuel rods, and you know that. You want your settlement, your people, and your power back. And I'm ready to offer you just that. As soon as those reactors are refueled, my people and I will leave and never bother you again. You don't believe I'll never use the nukes, but you'll just have to take my word on that. You know I can keep it. You've kept it so far, if we stretch the definition. But that's besides the point. Even if I believe you, I don't believe Klim. Did he tell you the free bandits are working for him? What makes you say so? I have no proof. But the friends I left with went missing. Did he tell you anything about them? He said he was looking for them. I had my doubts for quite some time already. And now they're solidifying. Bolivar cannot carry double any longer. Once the fuel is here, Klim will be taken care of. Anything else? No, just that. Then, we have a deal. We do, Tom. I know I'm going to regret this, but we do. You won't. A deal is a deal, Edward. See you soon. Thank you for trusting him. Sam, I don't trust him. Not even for a second. No matter what he says, I can't trust him. But... But you have no choice. Exactly. I really don't have a choice here. Ah, damn. The generator's out again. Let's go check it. If 
Before we go, let's do something about my knee. It is swelling up already. Hmm. Sure thing, Ed. Do you have anything for the pain? I don't drink, really, but I do have a crate of Molotovs. Their moonshine and fish oil should do the trick. I wish we had some food to chase the drink down with, though. Here. Wow, that's a nice surprise. All right, no point in putting it off any longer now. Cheers. <sighs> Not so bad. <laughs> Here, you have some too. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Uh, come on. Let's get it done. I'm ready. Pull it hard. Hold on to your hat. I don't think it worked. Let me catch my breath. And get one for yourself, too. Cheers. <coughs> oh, still awful. Okay. Pull again. Put your back into it. All right. Pulling. Damn. Ah, damn. That was awful. Thanks for the leg. I feel better already. Cheers. Cheers. I say, let's not go anywhere tonight. Mm. Oh. Not bad at all. <sighs> okay, let's go check the generator. Are you sure? When my exo bursts sin and shouts, where the hell is my dead machine? I think I got this. Pull that lever, Sam. Shit. I ain't got it. Huh? You hear that? What? The music? Had we had some music? Amen to that. Hey, you! What the f Okay, let me fix this. I definitely got it now. Start it, son. <laughs> now I talking. got this! Let there be the light! <laughs> The Ed! By the way, care to tell me your story? Are you sure? Come on, Sam. Unwind! Sure. Why not? When we buried the Colonel, I just knew I had to leave. I just knew Dad I was waiting. Thanks for telling me, Sam. We were on the ropes by then, and had to take the deal. And that bastard wants to save the world? Bah! He's going to become a pirate with nukes, and that's it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think it's quite like that. He has ideas. Oh, good. 
I'm telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy. I don't know. He's not a madman, Ed. I know, but still, ah, to hell with him. Let's drink. <sighs> Come on, Sam. Telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy, but you like respect. Respect of your elders. <laughs> ah, and I mean, why aren't you drinking? Hey, Ed! <laughs> I'm here. You are there too? Weird. I, I need a drink. <laughs> oh, this is good. Mm. Not bad at all. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> now that's what I call a party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ed. Ed. Oh, shh. What happened? Ed, I'm blind. What are we drinking? You're not blind, you're sleeping face down. And stop shouting. Oh, my head. Oh. <laughs> oh, my head. That's why I don't drink. Oh, oh, it's terrible. But I feel better now. <laughs> Here, finish this. It will help a bit. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> okay, while you're recovering, let's go back to the conversation we had yesterday. I do know where that fuel is, and it's not even that far. In an underground submarine base. The tunnels are half flooded, but still accessible. The entrance is in the Naval HQ building. Radiation's off the charts there, though. So I wouldn't even try without a protective suit. This building used to be a fire department, and I know they had some suits in case of an accident with one of the swords. Now the place is overrun by bandits, so it's not going to be a walk in the park, I guess. Think you can handle it? Okay. I guess some fresh air will do me good. I'll go get those suits. Thank you, Sam. I'll be getting ready here, too. Oh, you should take the stairs. Down there and through the door. Oh, I almost forgot. While going downstairs, could you reload the traps? The mutants do visit this place from time to time. I'll try to, Ed. There is one Molotov left. Take it. There are many dead bandits on the lower floors. We should have the materials for more if you need any.
Ed, Sam here. One trap rearmed. Freaks around. This is a real prize. Open sesame! Nice. Ah, got the second one. Three left. Third trap armed. Two left. Freaks around. Nie dorna.
Just one trap left now. Skedica. Ed, it's Sam again. So gotovo. All traps rearmed. Spasiva, Sam. You're a savior. Pajalusta, Ed. Well, it's even easier than I could have hoped. The captain's ready to help, and the nuclear fuel's not far from here. In an underground submarine base, obviously. The radiation levels there are about as high as Novosibirsk, though. So, I'll need to borrow a couple of protective suits from the local fire depot stores. Scratch one mine. Nothing else. Ah, 
just don't hurt your family. It's so hard. Apparently it is. He had to do it. He had to. That bastard traitor. Fucking his own brother over just like that. Then everything went down the drain all because of him. Oh, all my life destroyed. But I will get back at him. I will. I so will. He no, he shouldn't have. <laughs> he will. He will. I'll show him. Wait, what? Who are you? Did he send you? He, my so-called brother. He couldn't get me to give up, so he sends a hitman. I'm no hitman. You, you're not. Well. Sorry for jumping to conclusion. It's my brother's fault. I wouldn't put it past him. It's because of him I'm hiding in this dump, eating overgrown lice. Oh, shut up, you damn beast! Can't wait to be roasted! Shut up! Piece of shit! Just like that brother of mine. He wants to take my car dealership. Well, my share in it. Car dealership? The Kovshinov brothers. Right to drive. What? Haven't you heard of it? You must be new in town. Everybody knows us. We deal in used cars from Japan. Quality ones. We started from scratch, against all odds. But once we get the business going, that bastard decided to fuck me over. I arrived at the office one day, and there's a new guard. And he won't let me in. He took all I had. Some brother he is. Angela, our accountant, was right. I should never have trusted him. Never! He brought it all down. Destroyed it all. Um, but the war. Ah, who cares? My brother fucked me over. Don't you see? <laughs> but I have a plan. You need to get inside our dealership, get the incorporation documents from the safe box and bring them to me. Then I'll have proof. I'm not going to let him die a beggar, of course. He's a brother, after all. I'm not like him. But I will pull his poison teeth out. I will! Will you help me? You just need to get that bastard, my brother, to spill his half of the code. We only knew half each to show it was our joint effort. We were stupid. I was stupid. Only Angela knew the whole code. Get his half of the code. Open the safe box and bring me the documents. You will do it, won't you? Look, my half of the code is this. One, two, three, four. Huh. What? Ah, no matter. Go, go now. I will wait for you here. Oh, we'll show that bastard. We'll show him. Now you'll see. Oh, now you'll see. You will. <laughs> the dealership is mine. Mine alone. Have you found the documents yet? Yes? No? He'll see he shouldn't have fucked his only brother over.
beasts! and I took a good look at you. You are smart, level-headed. We need people like you. Still, you're new here and you don't know much. So we decided to talk to you. Just give you something to think about at leisure. I'm fine with thinking. So what do you got? Look, there's Cat, our top boss. I think you know what kind of a man he is already. There's also Clean. You're working directly under. So you know him even better. Having any of those two as your enemy is bad news. They don't just bury people that cross them. They do it so that the poor bastards have enough time to remember and to curse all their relatives for bringing them into this world. Yeah, it's nice to be on their side. You're right there. <laughs> the thing is, the guys have been thinking. While these two are together, we're golden. But what happens if they have a falling out? We don't have any say in anything, of course. But once one of them comes out on top, he's going to count everyone who didn't support him as enemies, which means they're screwed. So, you understand that people like us must know which side to end up on when shit hits the fan. So, which one? As if anyone could tell. <laughs> All this is just... speculation. But since you put it this way, I think anyone with a good head on his shoulders would be able to take a look and see which way the wind is blowing and whom to back when push comes to shove. I see. Much appreciated. You really got my noggin jogging. This is a real prize.
are you? Name's Sam. I'm working for Tom. Ah, I know you. I saw you there. So, you are second American, huh? Ah, I heard you were supposed to be around. Well, come here. We'll show you what's what. We aren't called scouts for nothing after all. So, first of all, beware of the bat wing roaming about. We haven't seen it, just heard it. And judging by its shouts, it's huge and angry as hell. And probably it's wounded. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Next, where did you need to go? To the fire depot. You can see it from here. The red building with a tower. It's about half a click from here as the crow flies. Right. But you don't look like a crow. It's close. But it's gonna be hard to get there. <laughs> yeah, crows have it easy in these parts. Look, that unfinished building from before the war. You need to go through it. That's the only way to the upper bog where the fire depot is right now. There's a gang that set up shop there, though. They used to do some slave trade. But lately they switched to the latest thing and started catching those human-like mutants. Can you imagine that? We've been at odds with them since forever. And anyway... They never like strangers. They're sure to open fire as soon as they see you. Don't expect a warning. So, try to remain unseen. Thank you. I will. What else have we got here? Ah, here. Look this way now. See that two-story tower-like building on that islet? It used to be a police post before the war. Now it's taken over by a gang too. Complete mad lads. Though they're busy catching the fuglies now like the others. That business is on the rise over here, you know? What they have there is a warehouse of sorts, so there should be some good loot there. <laughs> that little islet supposedly houses a cache of sorts. A few years back, a new gang appeared in this town. Those were some crazy bastards, but they were good. They went and demanded tributes from gangs thrice their numbers and murdered everyone who didn't pay up. They had training, spits nuts like. They also had gear, like in the movies, armor, guns. Each of them had night vision, too. <laughs> they had a good run. Ended up controlling a huge swath of the ruins, even with their numbers. Then the other gangs decided they had enough. Got together and smashed them completely. So all that remains of them today are their caches marked by their sign. A skull wearing night vision goggles. So watch out for those. Why? I bet all those places were looted long ago. I wouldn't be so sure. Those guys were real show-offs. Each of their caches is like a puzzle box. The chosen ones in the know are supposed to get it, while random Joes like us are not. Huh. The boys did find hidden buttons opening doors a couple of times, but all through sheer luck. They never got the principle. Perhaps you'll get it after looking at the situation with your unbiased American eye. <laughs> I might. You forgot the Fuglies. Ah, yes. Watch out on that islet with the cash. The Fuglies are especially large and tough there. I've no idea why and I don't care. But these large ones are in demand, so the hunters don't clear them out. They just catch a couple from time to time and leave the rest to repopulate. Got it. So that's about it. We've been told to observe and render assistance if needed. We told you what we know. That should count. Thanks, guys. Good luck. See ya!
nice. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Stay safe.
gotta find another way.
Aha, I could use this. Sam, my people at the far outpost are reporting there's a storm coming in, so you should find shelter. Thanks, Tom. I will. Good luck, Sam. Are you talking to me? Well, duh! I'm telling you that my brother is totally cuckoo! He thinks I want to take over his share of our business. We own a car dealership, right to drive, use Nipponese cars, best quality. We built a booming business from scratch and then pff, he went mad. We even shared one code to our safe box. He knows half, I know half. We used to be proud of that. Sure, our accountant Angela knew both halves. Otherwise, we both always had to stay at office. But we trusted each other. Do you understand? And then the asshole kicked me out and took my half of the business, reducing me to eating these rats. Shut the fuck up! Not only that, he also went off his rock. Says it's me who's taking over, not him. Can you believe that? I want to bring him back to his senses. I want someone to find out his half of the code, sneak into the dealership, take the papers from the safe box and bring them to me. So that I could show him who's listed as the owner there and prove it was him who kicked me out, not the other way around. Maybe that could bring his sanity back. Listen, it's very complicated. Listen. My half of code is one, two, three, four. You guys are something. Just learn his half of the code and get me those papers from the safe box. I'll make it worth your while. We'll see who's really insane. You'll just have to admit it. Where are the documents? You have them already, no? He won't weasel out of truth this time. Soon all will see the kind of brother he is, that bastard. Go get the documents from that safe box. Then his mask is coming off. He's writing all that shit all over the place. Well, he's wrong. He's got a heart of song. I don't have a brother. He's a monster.
could be of use. Use that. Sesame. Ah, here are the documents the brothers asked for. One flimsy lock. We'll see. Oh, they must be fixed already, just like you wanted. Now, read what's written there and don't try to fool me. All right, all right. Uh, aha! You see? Sole proprietor. Wait a minute. But why? Tutkina Angela Ivanovna. Damn! So it was Angela who kicked us both out. That snake! That bitch! How could she? To think I hated my brother because of her! Brother! Brother! Forgive me, brother! You forgive me? How could I treat you like that? I was no better. I believe that! I should have known, I should have! She told me lies about you! I should have known! It's all in the past, now it's going to be alright! We will rebuild! Um, oh, we'll bring <laughs> it all back, brother! From 
scratch like back then. I guess brother, I'll be going. I have a brother again. <laughs> <laughs> Me too! Like I always had! To think I doubted you! I'm sorry! <laughs> no matter! Everything will be just fine! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we'll go back to importing cars from Japan! <laughs> Best quality! Oh, brother! <laughs> Less. All that mind disarming training is paying off big time.
This is nice. could use that. Track. You just seek your horses onto the highwaymen and make their day. Even <laughs> make them fight for sport. The toughest ones fetch good price. <laughs> they can turn wheels and stuff too. It's up being a lot of people than burning gas. You can even use them as guards, but that's just a waste of food if you ask me. A fugly eats more than a dog does, but sucks as a guard in comparison. A dog is man's best friend. But can they use as pets? <laughs> nah, thank you very much. Uh, you can get used to them. They're both as long as you keep them fed. When hungry, though, they just keep looking at you, you know. No matter how good you train them. <laughs> well, no shit. We should keep looking around, too. Just in case Seraph decides to pay a visit. We miss him, he might gobble us all up. Uh, right. I don't want any arms here.
to this.
ее биться. Ed, I found your comrades' tracks. In the swamp. They were attacked by bandits connected to Clem. I see. Please, try to find out more. I'll try to, Ed. Sam, out. Show. Uh, the second of Ed's friends. I should look for his XO. Wouldn't mind a ladder here. Hey. 
Ah, there's that ladder. Edward, I lost everyone. The fuel rods were right where you said they'd be, but the bandits ambushed us in the swamp. Don't think they know about the bunker. Wanted to take us alive. We didn't let them. Valodia died right there. Alex and I fell back through the flots and islets. We were both hit. Alex fell back. Then I heard the explosion. I managed to lead the last of them into a mutant lair and keep them pinned down there. <coughs> I had a clear shot. I think the mutants got the ones I didn't. We did <coughs> all we could. Now it's your turn. So long, Ed. Good luck, Captain. I'm very sorry, Ed. Your comrades are dead. I found the XO's audio log. The fuel rods are where you thought they'd be. They died in the line of duty. Rest in peace, brothers. Thank you, Sam. Proceed according to initial plan. I'm ready to move out. Roger that, Ed. Proceeding as planned. Never shoot without a warning. But those bastards! Oh, have you heard the story about Tolik the Bull and the Sea Serpent? Ah, that one. Yes, I have. Huh. How about the one when the submariners, when they still used to sail, met a mutant seven times larger than their sub? That one I know even better than you. Ah, my second cousin's best man used to sell moonshine to their sonar operator. That guy told him that the thing they saw was no mutant, but a floating city of extraterrestrial lizard men. And those lizard men wanted to erase us all. They should have sunk the bastards. They wanted to. But as soon as they got the target lock, the president appeared on all of their screens, all official-like, just like before the war. So he appeared and said, Don't you dare open fire on our strategic partners. And the sub just turned back all by itself. That's how they found out that the president was a lizard man all along. Wow! This... That's how it goes. You heard the one about Korsh and the plane? No. Aha! So, once Korsh was taken south, far out to sea by a really bad storm. With the storm over, he went about making sail when he saw a plane. A huge one. Really high, leaving a trail. Korsh started shouting and pointing at it, but he only had green hordes with him that time. So they didn't even get what that was. Of course, it's bullshit. Why is that? A plane. A huge one, at that. Imagine how much fuel it needs. <laughs> I'd believe a ship, but a plane? Nah. Well, it's up to you to believe it or not. As for the ships, did you hear about the crew of the dead? Huh? I haven't. So... There was the Seaborn Gang, and one day they found a huge ship just drifting along. When they approached it, 
It was dead silent. They boarded it and found lots of stuff. Canned meat, crackers, bullets, fuel, clothes, anything you could imagine. About the dead crew. And the crew, too. All dead but still manning their stations, as if they died while working and never even noticing it. The guys should have understood something was fishy there, but when they saw the reaches, they lost all caution, split and started jamming their packs with stuff. The youngest of them went up to the bridge, and it was all full of dead sailors in their stations, just like the rest of the ship. The captain was standing there, too, all dressed in white. So. That boy turned to look out the window, and heard something rustle. He looked back and saw that the dead sailors were still standing where they were, but not quite in the same poses. They all were facing him, and stretching their arms towards him. Oh, I would have shit myself right there. <laughs> That's what he did. And then he ran back. He reached their boat and called out to the rest of the guys, but got no answer. He thought he should go look for them, but heard rustling again and saw a dead guy standing right next to him, like he was always there. And so you know, the sun was already going down. So the boy, without taking his eyes off the dead guy, tied a rope around his waist and leapt overboard into the boat. As soon as he was down and cut the rope loose, it was yanked up there. Someone must have grabbed it and pulled, see? Then, the moment the boy pushed the boat, the ship started its engines, switched to full steam ahead, and vanished. And that was it. Nobody ever heard from the missing men again. I take the captain was short on hands, so he just bolstered his crew that way. <laughs> Damn! The thing's happening at sea. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Hmm, I'm still thinking about that story of yours. Which one? About the Island of Broads? Nah, the other one. About course and that plane. Look, if they do have planes out there in the south, why didn't they use them to come here? Why would they want to? Just look around. Had you had a plane, would you want to come here? You'd use it to get as far from here as humanly possible. <laughs> We're getting fucking drunk!
make good use of this. Nice. Niedolna. Dica. Oh, my God. 
the fuck? So, the poor bite? The submarine will be sneaking around. That place must be made of loot to be worth it. Damn right you are. Don't mention the zip line. Why? Just because that's why. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll tell you. So, it took us a while to build a fucking zip line. First we found the line itself. Then brought it to the town. Then carried it up the town. Then crossed the water. Tightened that shit up. We busted the butts! I told them all our work was going to waste, but all I heard was shut the fuck up! So what do you think happened once we were done? Some asshole shut up our Seraph! Seraph? Who's that? Not who, but what? A militant! An ugly wimp motherfucker! It's everything! Ah, a bad wimp. Yeah, but not your average bad wimp. It's one bad motherfucker. The largest I've ever seen. It's like... Uh, it's like a real boss for a swarm. Oh, not a boss, a fucking king! What? Do you mean the other Batwings obey it? What? Batwings? Nah, 
It's those little things that do. Little things? Ah, those small flying muties. Real small like. Oh, you mean flying rats? Yeah, them fuckers. They like swarm around the big one and it totally orders them around. Well, how does it do that? Does it say anything? I haven't got a clue. Still, if you see a swarm of the little ones, drop everything and scram. Seraph is around, and it's not to be trifled with. So, where was I? Ah, I remember. So, as soon as we finish the zip, some asshole busts Seraph's wing. And now, the beast is stuck on the ground, angry as the devil. The small thing swarming all around. So you can't even touch the zipline now. So, who's laughing now? Shut the fuck up. My ass! I told them so!
shit. That's my line. Ah, you got it made, boy. I trade with you anytime. Sitting around all day with your tongue out, bothered by nothing, harassed by nobody. Ah, I'd like a shot of the blood. Submariners. He can do that to us. He'll shear them all like the sheep they are. Got to watch out not to get sheared instead. I heard he did this to some serious people once. They all thought the cat was not a threat to the wolves they were, and paid the price. Think about the numbers the cat's gang boasts now, combined with the submariners. Is that supposed to scare me or what? Doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> I know, getting scared isn't our thing. Still, I think it would do us good to lay low for a while and weigh the odds. That's why you shouldn't have shot those submariners up. Kill you anyways, but you better open up! Yeah! You're 
You're like trapped. Either we shoot you or you die from hunger in there. It's long and painful, so you better open up for your own sake. Uh, look, there's that, uh, uh, that zip line, you know. Couldn't he, like, uh, use it? <laughs> Fuck, you are dumb. How did you even survive till this day? I was shitting him, and now the trick is out. Now you break the door. <laughs> Sam here. I have the suits. Great, sir. Let's meet at the HQ building. Do you read? Got a show at the HQ building. Sam out. You had a coming door. Took me some time to get the suits, as the fire depot they were in was overrun by bandits. But now we're all set to go get that fuel. The sooner we recover it, the better. All these delays are getting on my nerves.
Glad Tokarev taught me how to disarm those.
Skibdica. I found it before someone blew up. Use this. Observation journal. New outpost. Important. Spotted the ex-captain. Armed. Heading east. Hasn't noticed us. We updated the base and are waiting for the hunters. <laughs> what do we need them for? He's getting away. We gotta act. Let's get him with a pincher movement. Just the two of us is enough. Tom said it clearly. We must wait for the hunters. Tom. Always Tom. Soon you won't know how to wipe your ass unless he gives his order to. He didn't put everything exactly. We should have called Clem. He'd give us sane orders, not like that windbag with his crap. <laughs> yeah, your darling Klim would have told you, get him or I'll have your head. End of story. The captain isn't your average Joe. What would you do if he gave us the slip? You're just a coward, that's all. You and your Tom. You must take risks if you want to achieve anything. Yeah, right. Explain to me then, why does Klim work for Tom? And why do you work for me? Uh, we'll see about that. You'll see? Watch the captain, you idiot! I'll fuck you up if you lose him! We'll see about that! Now I wasted a tape because of you!
least nobody will blow up on this now. Ed, Sam again. I'm in position. Reading you loud and clear, Sam. I'm going full ahead. We'll be there in a couple of minutes. Meet me at the seafront. Roger that, Ed. Sam out. Thanks for arming the traps back there. As soon as you left, a whole horde of mutants decided to crash my party. I don't know if I'd be talking to you if not for the traps. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Here's your suit, Ed. Thanks. I'd better put it on right now. Hold on to this. I'll be quick. How did it go? <laughs> Good. Ah, I still put it on in regulation time. So, are you ready to enter the lair of the beast? Always ready. How do we get there? We can take the boat right to the spot. The access tunnel is half floated. We'll have to open a few gates though. So we'll need to split up at the entrance. Here is the bunker plan. I marked everything the guys found out on it. May they rest in peace. At the spot, we load the rods on the boat and make our best speed out. We'll take a shortcut, the sea tunnel. Got it. We expect any hostiles? Just the zap spiders. What was that? Huge freaking spiders. They accumulate electric charge and hit you with it. They can also switch off lamps, stop motors, but if you chase them away, everything comes back online. Killing them is hard, but incendiaries work wonders. Spasibo. Just what the world needs. More kinds of huge freaking spiders. You're welcome. Well, we're here, Sam. See that gate? First of all, we'll need to turn the backup power on using the panel in the guard room. That should be enough for the lights and the electric locks. But we'll need generators to power the rest. Got it, Ed. So, I start the generators, we load the fuel and leave? Exactly. Well, make a landfall, and good luck. Good luck.
need the main power back on if we're going any further. Roger that. What the? This one. Torches. Yes, we should have. that.
Ahmed, I'm in the generator room. Okay. Now find the master switch. Roger. Пригодится. Get over it. Anyway, how did these electric abominations come to be? I guess this place is just cursed. Though <laughs> so with so much radiation and anomalies around, it's not surprising. Yeah, that's true. should be in the room next to yours. You go there while I climb up that crane. Arashio. I'm on it.
I'm all right, Ed. The lift is not, though. As long as you're okay, we're fine. Find the ventilation entrance and go up the vents to get here. Acknowledged. I thought it'd be easier. Me too. Spiders are a bit too much, really. I hate those fuckers. I don't think even their mamas like them. Still, we pulled it off. We're almost out of the tunnel, too. So, congratulations, I guess. Thank you. Damn. This rubber is stuffy as hell. You're right about that. What now, Ed? I guess it's time to call Tom. Yes. Tom, Sam here. We have the fuel rods and are heading for the dock. Oh, great news. We'll prepare for the loading operation. What's your ETA? About an hour. About an hour. Good. We'll be waiting for you then. Tom out. We're all set. All right. It's full steam ahead. Good. 
Richard, I do understand why people would follow Tom. I really do. Of course, his talk of restoring the civilization is bullshit, but I can't even say I hate him, honestly. Klim with his atrocities, on the other hand. Still, Klim's not in charge. Tom is. And be he the savior and Buddha in one person, I still could never agree with him. Still manning the gate? Give me a break! Yes, sir! It's me! Well, open up, if that's the case! Yes, Captain, sir! Opening up! I'm really happy to see you back, Captain, sir! Me too. Me too. Sam, before we arrive, I'd like to ask you to hear me out. You're a good guy. Honest, nice. You were nice the moment we met. I remember you put your gun down. You found my comrades, for which I'll be always grateful. So I'll be frank with you. I can't let Tom have the soap. I just can't. I already told you how much of a risk it is. So I won't repeat myself, you know it all. I should have taken her out to sea and scuttled her there long ago. But uh, I just couldn't. It would be like murdering my immortal soul. She bears no blame. She served us and kept us alive all these years. But now I have no choice. There's a charge in one of the roads. The guys put it in there in case we got caught. This is the detonator. I will be searched, but you... You are Tom's best pal. Is negotiator. So, just press the button when I give you the signal. Don't worry, it won't go nuclear. But no bastard will ever be able to use my ship for anything after that thing goes off. I understand that you'll be losing your ticket home that way. But I think I know you well enough, son. And it seems that you're not ready to pay Tom's price. Still, if I am wrong, just toss the thing and be done with it. All I'm asking is, give it a thought, okay? I have nobody else to rely on, Sam. Thank you for your trust, Ed. I won't let you down. Still, we have the fuel rods, which means we can carry out the last stage of the plan. Captain is right on all accounts. We can't let Tom or Clem, for that matter, have the sub. I'm not sure I'm ready to follow through with the plan, since that'll definitely cost me my ticket home. But it's going to cost the captain even more, though. And I admire his resolve for that.
Not so fast. First, your iron. And the pockets out, too. What the hell's going on here? Stop it! Mmm, I see you have new people. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, comrade captain. I'm so glad so to see you. So am I, son. I'm very sorry, but you can't keep the weapons. I'll have to search you, too. It's all right, I understand. How are you? Get married yet? <laughs> Not yet, comrade captain. No time for that. Too busy here. You're doing well, Vitya. I always knew you'd go far. We gotta search this one too. No need. Sam is with us. Glad you're here, Sam. Well, hello there, Cap. How long has it been? Hello huh? there yourself, Tom. Not long enough, I think. <laughs> really? Well, then again, maybe you're right. Another year out there, fresh air and all that, could have convinced you to agree to command this sub under my flag. Ha! <laughs> fresh air? It always felt stuffy out there, you know. Well, could it be a heart problem? With your age, you know. Ah, uh, no. It's just that you were around all the time. <laughs> I'll feel better too, sailing the high seas away from you. What's that noise out there? Everyone on board, you're completely surrounded. Surrender and come out with your hands above your head. Clem, what is the meaning of this? I'm one step ahead of you, that's what it means. Did you think I had no idea you were going to get rid of me? Do I look blind to you or dumb? No, at the moment you look like a dog that's gone rabid and needs to be put down. <laughs> Tom, I used to respect you, but just listen to yourself. The true shining city on a hill won't have to use it. Bullshit! You're gonna get all the world at the point of a nuclear gun and you come out all clean. Ain't happening! Nobody's gonna give a shit about your threat if you don't even shoot once. I, on the other hand, <laughs> already have a couple of targets in mind. Backstabbing cocksucker! <laughs> I hate to say I told you so. And I hate to admit that you were right. What do you say to us forgetting our differences until we solve this problem? A truce? A truce. Great. Then she's in your hands. Can you take her to sea? Not until the dock gate is open. The control room is definitely in Queen's hands now, so we're stuck. How many men do we have? Barely enough to hold them at bay. And even that, only until we run out of ammo. There's dozens of them. Tom, I have a plan. You keep them distracted while I sneak out and open that gate. All alone? With the numbers they have, our only chance is not getting noticed. Oh, you're right. But we'll have to mount a diversion to make sure you do sneak out. Do that. Yes, boss. Let's do this before it gets even worse. Sam, we'll keep them busy, but still, be careful out there. Sam, wait for our signal. Roger that. Good luck, soldier. Thanks. Surrender. Your coup has failed. We control the stuff, and we 
will use all the measures at our disposal to restore order.
up. You couldn't take us by surprise, and now we can hold your people off for as long as we like. Stop this insanity now, and surrender before you get all who once followed you killed. Stop. You're trapped in that pit gun with nowhere to go, and it's my game that's up. You're a delusional. Let's see if some smoke will help you clear your mind. Stop the frontal attack! Take cover and prepare to smoke them out!
Ладно, вот знает. Time to feed barricade. Huh? I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. It's my detector. Supposed to show you mines and shit. So what? Did some fuck just lay a mine under your ass or what? Why did it go off like that? <sighs> fuck if I know. I dropped it really hard, then took it to Jora. He said he'd fix it. But he went and fucking broke it. I just love it. This place totally rocks. I'm gonna teach your fuck out of here, so... in your people's ability to stop me! Yeah, I see it. We will cause that. But first, I will have you dealt with. Let the buckles loose! When they're done with the Taurus, bring me his skull! Then use the new ashtray! Ashtray? <laughs> so tacky. What the 
Clem, you are one tough bastard. like a criminal. Where I come from, the mutineers hang. I'm in the tower. Situation under control. Sam, they're cutting through the hat. Get that gate before done for. Order your people to stand down. Screw you, America! Surprise, motherfucker! Motherfucker! He'll rip you apart!
did what I'd been doing for the last 20 years. Saving the world. The captain sacrificed himself to avoid resurrecting the ghost of nuclear war. I would have gotten my ticket home. But at what cost? I'm not giving up. I will come home. Sorry, Ed, but I couldn't do it. I was an alien in Moscow, and even more so over here, where I had no friends. Tom offered me his hand. So what if that hand could push the button? Another nuclear war won't happen. The old world is already dead. A few more wounds on a corpse. What difference does that make? I don't think any price would be too high for a ticket home. Especially since I'm not the one footing the bill. My hope to see Dad is all I have left. All I've been dreaming of. All these years. <laughs>